Hi, this is David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. This is the final part of a multi-part series, and this is the sod installation. In all the parts before this final episode, we showed the excavation of the entire backyard, the paver install of the patio side yard, then another part was the driveway. It was basically uh, pavers with a border all the way around the perimeter, and now we're getting to the final end product here. And it's just uh, the underground prior to the pavers install. But we just kind of want to show the whole package, how we tied into this water main to get down. This is going to be your supply line to your valves, basically. So it's a copper main right there. And then we just transitioned it to a PVC Schedule 40. We've got four valve anti-siphon anti valves going in here. They're all three quarter inch. And they're going to be set about six inches above the, the highest sprinkler head. That way the anti-siphons work correctly. All right, so we're installing irrigation today. Just wanted to show you guys really quick what we've got done. So we got the main all hooked up. It's all done. Beautiful solder job. We got uh, the adapter piece from Cooperative PVC running down. And this is where we decided to place all of the irrigation lines right in this little corner. There's gonna be five of them. Two for the front, three for the back. Hopefully, I have enough room to get these last little two in. It's a little tight area. It's gonna go right there. There'll be one more, like kind of like that. I hope I can just fit it all in because it is really tight. But it's looking like I'm gonna make it, I hope. But yeah, once we have that in, we're gonna start running all the irrigation uh, to, the, to the spots where needed and also get a timer installed. Here's the valves right here. Orbit sprinkler valves. So it's a lot of T's and a lot of 90's. So all these risers pre-cut to the same height. These are Orbit 3 quarter inch valves. So the sprinklers will be around the entire perimeter and we're going to use about 10 foot spacing. On those T's and risers for the sprinkler heads, they have another um, system you can use if you're going to be having a lot of traffic over the top of those heads. That gives it a little bit more ability so that if you were to step on the head it won't actually break that riser. It's designed to break the riser before the PVC but there is some swivel um, 90s threaded 90s that you can put on there loosely that allow that head to be a little bit more flexible if you uh, hit it or step on it or anything like that the fence had to come down um, because to get the tractor in there and you can see that in a previous video getting the tractor back here it actually got stuck in between the two posts so the posts had to get taken down. While they were at it, they just removed the entire fence just to get the tractor in and out of the backyard. The string lines that you see there represent the outside edge of the new paver walkway. That way the sprinkler lines won't be underneath the, uh, the pavers. Some of those valves are be for, will be for a drip system. And they're they're going to need a different duration duration run time for a drip system. And there's they have some bubblers and some drip hose that'll be going in that raised planter in the back area. This whole area, the front and back, is going to be getting a Marathon 2 sod.
all these sprinkler heads that are being used have a 10 foot radius and they all can be changed from 0 to 360 degrees spray radius so it has a lot of options especially when you get in these radiuses where the sidewalks curved you can really fine tune them so that you're not over spraying so the, now they're bringing in some blended topsoil putting in about two inches of topsoil it's a good starter for the sod to, so it takes pretty quickly kind of see the pavers right now if you want to see the actual install you can go to uh, part three now there's the entire sod installation now you can use a uh, roller to roll it all down flat or you can just keep watering it heavy and it should all grow together and those seams will disappear water three times a day for the first two weeks and then gradually reduce your watering times anyway thanks for watching make sure you like share subscribe have a good day